Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, let me discuss the essential functions of the soil. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, there are 11 soil functions. One is the provision of food, fiber, and fuel. Another is for carbon sequestration. For number three, we have water purification and soil contamination reduction. For number four, for climate regulation. Another function is nutrient cycling. Number six is habitat for organisms. Number seven is flood regulation. Number eight is source of pharmaceuticals and genetic resources. Number nine is foundation of human infrastructure. Number 10 is the provision of construction materials. And last but not the least is for cultural heritage. Let us discuss all of the essential functions one by one. First, we have the provision of food, fiber, and fuel. This is the best appreciated soil function. The soil provides an adequate physical, chemical, and biological medium for growth of plants, that is for human and animal consumption. And also, not only for human and animal consumption of the produce from plants, but also for fiber and bioenergy. The soil also provides us fiber from plants for us to have our clothes to wear. And also, the soil provides us bioenergy from the forest and agricultural residues or waste to generate heating, cooling, and or electricity. Another function of the soil is for carbon sequestration. The soil can sequester carbon from the atmosphere, thus reducing the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. How does this happen? During the process of photosynthesis, where plants produce their own food, Plants store carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And then, as the plant performs, or as the plant respires, they return some of the carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and exude the carbon through the roots. And now, the exuded carbon is stored in the soil through various processes. Another function of the soil is for water purification and soil contamination reduction. It can influence water. It can influence water whether the water will infiltrate to become stored in the soil for use by vegetation growing on it and by the soil-based organisms. Or it will just flow through the soil to reach the groundwater. Soil can regulate drainage, the flow, and storage of water in solutes, and this includes nitrogen, phosphorus, pesticides, and other nutrients and compounds dissolved in the water. And with proper functioning, soil partitions water for groundwater recharge and for use by plants and soil animals. Another function of the soil is for climate regulation, in which the soil can regulate greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane emissions. Meaning, the more carbon that is stored in the soil, the less carbon dioxide will be in the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. And when the soil is managed sustainably, the soil can reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases, especially in agricultural practices. Another function of the soil is nutrient cycling. 
carbon, the nitrogen, and phosphorus, and many other nutrients are stored, transformed, and cycled through the soil. And this keeps them out of the water systems. And during various biogeochemical processes that is analogous to the water cycle, nutrients can be transformed into plant-available forms, or they can be held in the soil, or even lost to air or water. Another function of the soil is that it provides habitat for soil organisms or other fauna. Well, in fact, a handful of soil may be home to billions of organisms, belonging to thousands of species. For example, a 1 gram of soil in good condition can contain as many as 600 million bacteria, bacteria belonging up to 20,000 species. There are also larger organisms that spend a part of their existence in the soil, and they depend on the soil for important parts of their daily life, such as their the rodents, the rabbits, the rep reptiles, and others. For example, many of our birds rely on soil for food. For food supplies such as on the vegetation for which the soil is responsible. Many birds also nest in burrows in the soil. Another function is for flood regulation. The soil helps control the feet of water in the hydrologic cycle. And this uh, hydrologic cycle is influenced by the nature of the topsoil. The nature of the topsoil will influence greatly whether rainwater will run away across its surface, where it can supplement surface bodies of water such as the lakes, the rivers, and extreme situations leads to flush flooding, especially those soils that are prone to water lagging. Another function of the soil is the source of pharmaceutical and genetic resources. In fact, some of our modern medicines nowadays come from soil. For example, the bacteria Streptomyces. This bacteria could be used an, as an antibiotic, antidepressant, anti-cancer, and antifungal. And also, the soil harbors a, a lot or much of our Earth's genetic diversity. As I've said earlier, a 1 gram of soil in good condition contains as many as 600 million bacteria that is belonging up to 20,000 species, not to mention other organisms or microorganisms such as fungi, actinomycetes, protozoa, and others. Another function of the soil is for foundation of human infrastructure. Our buildings need stable soil for support, and the nature of the soil, be it sandy, silty, or clay types of soil, has an important influence on the foundations and the measures that need to be taken to ensure stability of the structures. Not all types of soils can support or really support building structures. The problem in this function of the soil is that buildings and engineering structures such as roads seal the soil and negates the use of the land for other purposes in the future. For example, a lot of agricultural lands here in the Philippines is being converted to subdivisions. Another function of the soil is the provision of construction materials. Soil is directly being used to make building materials such as the cement and brick, as well as indirectly grow plants to make building materials such as wood, wood boards, and insulation fibers. And for the last but not the least soil function, soil could act 
as a cultural heritage. Dolly is a museum that can preserve evidence of the wares and a way of living of the previous cultures and generations. Well, in fact, soil is a crucial component in determining the extent to which artifacts have been able to survive. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.